But challenges and struggles as a dad, has it always been easy? A Father's Day feature here. You know what? It's getting better all the time. It's like marriage, well, you know. they're gone. Of course they well, we, we, st better. we still have one. Our, our youngest one, Amelia, she's in university still. But Matt, my son, he's an EMT. He's married. Uh, Sarah, my daughter, was recently married. And okay, we got a shot. She yeah. is the cute as a button. Yeah. Wearing your wife's wedding oh, dress. Oh, yeah. And you know what? They, one of the things they're doing now oh, for life's wedding. wedding. I know. It was So they have these photos. They take them in advance. You know, so they get the first shot. You know, the groom oh, looks, and this, sees his bride. So they said, oh, let's try it with Greg. Let's do, you know, let's do it with Dad. And apparently I got a lot more emotional than even <laughs> the groom did because, I, you know, I, I see my daughter. This is a great picture. Oh, it's this a, is a great oh, picture. And, so have um, you ever had to have do-over as a dad? Well, you know, I wish I could have a do-over. Like my wife said, you know, she'd make the first one or two out of paper, and then you can start again. Uh, of course, it doesn't work quite that way, but our, we, there's a bit of a, an age difference in between number th two and three, yeah. and I think we were better parents, honestly, to the last two. But one of the things I can say, you know, to, to parents, of maybe you feel guilty, because a lot of dads, you know, when you're younger, you're working hard, you're trying to pay the bills, all that, and you're away a lot. And in my years with Voice of the Martyrs, I traveled a lot. And so Arlene and I sat down with our kids, and, and we just, you know, Matt and Sarah, our oldest two, and just said, you know, and I apologized to them and said, you know, I'm sorry that I was away and, and I knew that I made some mistakes, but the Lord in his grace gave me a second chance, okay. especially with my daughter, Sarah. She's traveled all over the world with me. You know, thank you for saying that about do-over because sometimes um, you've got a situation where you can't get a do-over. Yeah. Or um, you're missing your dad this Father's Day because he's either passed or he's walked out of your life. And um, just know that God wants to be the heavenly father for all the broken parts of the father's story. So it is Father's Day Friday here, and we hope that you'll feel God's embrace on that. Call the prayer lines if you want some help connecting with your heavenly father on this, or you need that do-over stuff. That's right, and I'd like to say Happy Father to, or Father's Day to my dad on Gabriel Island in beautiful British Columbia.